Hey guys, it's Matt here with Matt's Vintage Video Games. Okay, so online I see a lot of videos that show you how to buff out your game discs or resurface your game discs and make them work like new again. And I just don't agree with a lot of the methods and I don't like a lot of the way that people are doing it. So I'm going to show you what I do. Um, in my store, all of my game discs, uh, when necessary, they're always buffed out. And uh, I'm going to show you my little trick and my little secrets of the way I do it. And uh, this might help you. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is if you see this over here, this is a 6-inch bench buffer. You can get this at any kind of uh, Lowe's or Home Depot kind of place like that. Um, I get mine in a place called Harbor Freight for about $39.99. We have those out here on the East Coast. I'm not sure if you have them uh, anywhere else in the country or where they are, but that's where I got mine really cheap. Uh, the, um, the wheels that come with it are not really good wheels. They're really cheap, and they'll scratch your discs more than they'll help them. So you're going to need to get different uh, buffing wheels. I get mine on eBay for like 6 bucks a piece. It's not much. You want to get either really fine microfiber ones or really fine cloth or uh, cotton ones that are are really nice and fluffy and not real tight, you know. So um, you want to you want to get look for a loose cotton and and that's going to work real well for you. Uh, one side is for your cleaner and the other side is clean. It's to take it off. So. This is going to clean your discs, and this is going to buff your discs out, basically. These are both the same kind of buffing wheels, by the way. Um, then you're going to need some polishing compound. Uh, this is what I get. This comes in this, in this tube. It's just a white stick. This is a solid. This is not a paste. This is not a putty. This is not a liquid. This is a solid um, uh, piece of equipment here that you need for that. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a tool. I use just a basic stick. It's just a little rod, and I've, I've fastened a little round piece on the end. And the reason I do that is because that is going to fit really easily onto your disc. And then you can handle it really well. And then you can buff it out without, without holding onto the disc physically. You're just holding onto this and then controlling it with your hands here like this. So you can buff out just about any kind of uh, video game. Uh, some are harder than others to buff out. Sega CD, uh, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn games are kind of difficult. Uh, and you, you don't want to do too much. You don't want to expose them to this, this wheel too long because you know it's, it's, it's going to create a friction and it will heat up. So there's kind of a technique to it and a trick to it and it's kind of a learning curve. So if I were you and you were going to try to do something like this, I would try it out first with uh, some discs that uh, you know you may not really care if they get if they get um, you know destroyed or not because uh, you're probably going to destroy some before you really get it down and uh, to where you feel comfortable doing it um, to, to to repair a disc a game that you you don't want to get rid of you know so uh, I do you need some uh, water? That's another little trick I would tell you. Um, the first thing you're going to do is, um, when, when this is on and spinning, you're going to spray a little bit of water on here. Then you're going to uh, get your disc ready here, uh, you're, and then you're going to apply this uh, compound. And uh, not, not too much compound, just a little bit. You don't need a, a whole bunch of it, just, just a little, just so that there's some on the game disc. And this is going to fill in all the little scratches. And, uh, and then when we uh, clean it off on the other side, it's going to buff it out and make it look like a, a new disc. And the thing that's surprising about this method is that you can take a disc that's really badly, badly scratched up and make it look pretty darn good. So um, I'll show you this disc here. This disc has some scratches on it. I don't know if you can see that really well or not. But it certainly has some scratches, but it's not in terrible condition. This is not sellable yet, but it's not far from being sellable, at least in my condition, uh, or my opinion. So uh, this is a disc that's a good candidate for being buffed, and then I'll put it right in my store. And I'm going to show you, uh, after I buff it, what it looks like. So, so this is the before, and then I will show you the after once we're done buffing the game discs.
So this is kind of loud. I'm not sure if you can hear me really well or not. I'm going to try to speak up so that, so that you can hear me over the buffing wheel. So all we're going to do uh, is first we're going to apply the compound. You're just going to touch it onto the wheel. You're not going to shove it on there really hard. You're just, just lightly touching it on the wheel. That's all you have to do. Just make sure you get some of it on there. Then you're going to take this wheel and you're going to hold on to it by this, by this spindle. And you're going to allow this to move. And you're just going to hold on to it being with the, this finger here is just going to hold on to it so that it'll spin but not spin out of control on you. So, you know, it can move pretty fast and it will get hot so you have to be careful and there's also a sweet spot on this wheel. You, you don't want to be too high or too low because it will grab this disc and shoot it out the other side or shoot it towards you in bunches of little sharp pieces so uh, you want to be careful with that because uh, you could lose an eye. I would recommend uh, you know, wearing some eye protection, maybe some um, protection on your arms or anything. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not concerned about it anymore, but um, I certainly used to be when I, when I first started doing it. I, I busted quite a few discs until I really got the good hang of it. Now, now I don't worry about it so much anymore. So uh, we're just going to continue this process. It doesn't really take very long. You can apply a little pressure. As long as, as, long as the disc is moving, you're not going to burn it up. You're not going to hurt it, but uh, you got to keep it moving. And like I said, we don't want it to sit on there all day. Uh, if you look at the disc, if there is another spot, like you can see a little spot right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, so I'll go ahead and try to hit that again. I'll just do that like that. Now I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the disc from spinning now. I'm just trying to hit that one spot. Just a little bit on there. Seems to have cleaned it up really well. Now we'll go over here to the other side and we'll take all this stuff off of it. And you're going to use the same process. Just let it spin in your hands. And run it back and forth. Just across, across the disc back and forth. Now I don't know if you can really see that really well on the camera or not, but that disc looks like a brand new disc. It looks pretty good. It's not 100% perfect, but that is a definitely a sellable product. I can sell that in my shop. Now, that'll work on any kind of disc. Like this here, this is a PS1 disc. And you can see it's, it's kind of rough too. It's not in the best shape. The PS1 games are always scratched up. I mean, they are very notorious for it. But these are a little harder to do because the residue that you accumulate onto the disc by, by using this polish and compound here, um, it, it, it tends to stick into this disc a little bit more than it does the, um, the uh, silver back discs. So the black backs, um, seem to show more of the residue so you kind of got to be careful you don't want to buff it really really long or really hard because you don't want to put a lot of residue into it you just want to make sure that you keep it spinning that you don't stop it at any point and that you're going from edge to edge all the way from the center of the spindle all the way to the outside of the disc and just hold on to it make sure you don't lose it because if you lose control of it and it it, it, it breaks into pieces. It could it could put your eye out. I promise you. So just make sure you're really careful with what you're doing. That looks better, but it still needs some work. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the disc in a, in a stopped position so that it's not gonna spin. And I'm gonna rub it back and forth like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn it just about a quarter turn and do the same thing. And I'm going to turn it again. Let's take a look at it. it. Doesn't look too bad. One little spot. As long as it's moving, you're okay. Don't ever stop it onto the wheel. If you stop it in one position, it won't take very long, and it'll burn it. Once it's burnt, it's gone. So then I'm going to go. I'm going to let it spin around again and hit it again in this like this. That doesn't look bad now. Let me take it off. Now we can check out what that that's a PS1 disc. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's it's pretty darn good. It's sellable. I can sell that in my shop. Now I'm gonna show you. This will work on a GameCube game. These little discs work just the same. You see that? Somebody's used like a toothpaste or something on it. Guys, don't ever use toothpaste on your discs. I don't know who 
who decided to tell a bunch of people to use toothpaste, don't do that crap. You want to use toothpaste on your disc, just, just throw it away. I mean, for crying out loud. You use any kind of thing that's going to leave a residue like that, no wonder that doesn't play. No, no way it could. Now with a GameCube game, it's a lot harder to let this spin because they're so small. So I just hold on to it in a stopped position and just rub it back and forth. And GameCube games are easy because they're smaller, so they don't take long, obviously. They clean that up pretty nice. Just a matter of a couple seconds. And now you'll have to spin it to, to get it to come off, to, to, uh, to remove the uh, residue, to buff it out. You know, hold it in a position to allow it to spin around. Just be very careful. They're really small. They're kind of hard to control. That looks like a perfect disc. That looks beautiful. Perfectly sellable. Now, let's say you have a disc like this. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is terrible. Terrible condition. And I'm going to show some cutaways throughout this video so that you can see these, these discs and how bad these discs really are. And I'm going to show you the before and the after. Okay. Now, this one, this is Midnight Club. It was is a good game. I really hate to waste it, but I really, to be honest with you, I don't know that I can save this game. This is really tough. There's no way it's going to play right now. And as dirty and scratched up as it is, I wouldn't want to put this into my game player. So uh, I'm going to try to clean it up, and then I'm going to do a cutaway later on in the video. And we're going to show you if this game disc works or not. And my guess is it might not, but you'd be surprised what this device can do. And, uh, you know, I've cleaned up some really, really bad games, and they've worked just fine after I've, I've done this process. So, uh, just, uh, uh, I'm going to show you how to clean it now. And this is a little bit longer of a process, of course, because of all the scratches it's got on it. But we're going to, uh, first we're going to apply some more uh, compound, make sure we got enough on there. So a lot of scratches. Spray a little bit of water on there sometimes helps a little bit, too. And, like, this disc is really dirty. So I'm going to spray the disc with just regular tap water. And then I'm going to let it spin very lightly until it gets working in there pretty good. And you can apply a little pressure. And just go from edge to edge. I'm stopping because my hands are hurting. It does burn your fingers. It will. If you do this for a long time, and my fingers are black, yeah, and it hurts too, but uh, a little bit of pain is, is worth it. See, a little bit of pain won't hurt you, part of life. Now you can see that, that that's cleaning it up, but it's still pretty rough. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna hold this solid and steady. I'm not gonna let it spin around, and I'm gonna work with it. And I've got quite a bit of uh, compound on here. So it's, it's really gonna, gonna work up some uh, residue on it. But that's okay, as long as you keep the disc moving, you won't burn the disc. You just gotta keep it moving. Normally that would be it, but since this disc is so bad, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another shot just like that. Around and around again. All the way to the edges. Make sure you're getting all the way to the edges, all the way to the spindle in the middle. Just got to keep the disc moving. Don't let it stop or you'll burn the disc up. Now that doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go ahead and give it, a, give it another shot like this. Let it spin. How, how bad it really is. It still looks kind of rough, but let's let's uh, let's puff it out, take off the compound, and see what we're left with. So this is about the best I can do. It doesn't look too bad. If this plays, I'll sell it. 
And I tell you what, that, that looks pretty good. For the amount of scratches that were on this disc when we started with it, this disc looks pretty darn good. So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Um, one other thing I do want to note, I want to tell you, uh, this right here, that is going to get very hot after you've, like, I've just got done buffing out about 40 discs. So that right now could cook an egg on it. Uh, if you place your hand on it, it will burn your skin off. So uh, it's very hot. So, uh, you know, but my hands don't burn that well. So, you know, it's not going to burn me that easy. But believe me, if you, if you laid your hand on there, that would hurt you. Uh, these are moving parts and pieces. So uh, don't wear loose clothing. Wear your safety glasses. Uh, take, you know, safety precautions. Uh, me, you know, I must have a death wish or something. It doesn't seem to bother me. I've been doing this for a long time, so it's just not, I'm not all that concerned with it, you know. But uh, like I say, if you're new to it, uh, you know, be prepared to, to break some discs and uh, when, when giving this a shot and figuring out how to do it. But uh, as, as long as you have all the tools you need and you uh, watch watch my video here and you listen to what I'm saying, uh, you should you should be able to give it a shot and uh, and start saving some of your discs. Uh, you know, movies, uh, CDs, uh, this, this works on anything. So, uh, you know, it, it, I will tell you, it doesn't work well on music CDs. For some reason, the data is placed into the disc maybe differently or something. I'm not sure. It does not seem to take out... The, it, the, the, the CDs will clean up real nice, but they still seem to skip on the same places. So, now I don't know if that's just something that seems to be happening to me or, or what, but... Um, so, um, it'll, you know, it'll work on the music discs, but doesn't seem to work as good. It uh, works perfectly on the game discs. So, um, that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching my video. Uh, please like and subscribe down below. Uh, give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, tell me what you think. I appreciate it. And have a great day. Right, so, this is our copy of Midnight Club 2 that we just buffed out. So, we're going to put it in here and uh, give it a shot and see if it'll play. Uh, to be quite honest with you, it was so badly scratched that I, I really doubt it. Even though after I cleaned it, it looked really good. Now, that disc was really trashed. And I most generally, I would not even try to resurface a disc like that because it's just it's just rough, you know. And even if you resurface it and make it look like glass, it, it's probably still not going to play. So, you know, buying all those uh, JFJ machines and all those expensive, uh, yeah, this said disc read error. So all those expensive devices that you see uh, that sand it down and do all this fancy stuff, when a game is that bad a condition, uh, you know, my opinion is that it's not going to be able to fix it. And a game that's this, like this kind of game, it's really not that expensive of a game anyway. It's just not worth all the hassle. But it was, um, you know, just to give it a shot to show you how good I could get them to look um, just doing it the way I do it. And, um, you know, yeah, so it looks a whole lot better, but unfortunately that one is just too far gone.